I know that all of us uh, take the greatest pleasure in being here. First of all, because uh, whether we're Australian or American, we are all uh, joined by a common uh, interest, a common uh, devotion and love uh, for the sea. And I am particularly glad to be here because uh, this cup is being challenged uh, by our friends from Australia. This uh, extraordinary uh, group of men and women, numbering some 10 million, who have uh, demonstrated uh, on many occasions, on many fields, in many countries, that they are the most extraordinary athletic uh, group in the world today. And that this extraordinary demonstration of physical vigor and skill has come uh, not uh, by the dictates of the state, because uh, the Australians are among the freest citizens in the world, but because of their choice. And therefore, Ambassador, you are most welcome here. And it is an interesting uh, biological fact that all of us have in our veins the exact same percentage of salt in our blood that exists in the ocean. And therefore, uh, we have salt in our blood, in our sweat, in our tears. We are tied to the ocean. And when we go back to the sea, whether it is to sail or to watch it, we are going back from whence we came. And therefore, it's quite natural that the United States and Australia, separated by an ocean, but particularly to those of us who regard the ocean as a friend, bound by an ocean, should be meeting uh, today in Newport to begin this great sea competition. I want to toast to tonight the crew, the sailors, those who made it possible for the Gretel to come here, those who have for a hundred years defended this cup from the New York Yacht Club, to all of them. As the ambassador uh, said so well, they race against each other, but they also race with each other against the wind and the sea, to the crew of the Gretel and the crew of the Weatherly.